Yo, what up everybody? Today is time for another TF2 trading tips tutorial. Fuck yes. But today it's actually going to be a really more basic tutorial than all the others have been because I've had a lot of requests, you know, people asking me what the difference was between different item qualities and, you know, the rarity between and the value between different item qualities. And that's what I'm going to go through today. This is a really, really basic, basic starter tutorial so most of you probably already know these things but I still suggest watching the video anyways because you might be surprised at the things I mentioned anyways there are a couple of uh, of main of main uh, item qualities we're gonna go through in this video namely normal unique vintage genuine strange and unusual which are the most popular you know item rarities and that you will see most of the time in game and the value between them you know, differs greatly and you have to make sure not to, you know, make any mistakes when trading these. So let's go ahead and check out, you know, the n the normal quality. Normal quality here applies to regular weapons such as, you know, the scatter gun, the rocket launcher, just default weapons that have no item quality at all. There, like, there are, however, glitched items that exist, as in, like, regular hats or regular weapons, like, a, like an unlock, let's say, a cow mangler or you know, or another hat that have been glitched to become normal quality. That means, instead of having the yellow tag, they have the gray tag. I have seen a normal, like, normal quality Master's Yellow Belt sell for 27 buds. Insane amount. Because there's only, like, one in existence, so you gotta watch out for those. Though, it's, it's, they're almost impossible to find. Anyways, Unique, which is probably one of the, you know, the second, probably the most popular... Uh, item quality, most of the items in the game carry this quality, it's just the yellow, most unlocks, most hats, most everything, so you gotta watch those. Also, one thing to notice is that uh, some people have, you know, asked me about craft, craft, craftable hats and non-craft hats, you have to watch out for those. Hats that are non-craftable, like let's say a non-craftable Tyrant Selm, is only worth like, you know, one reclaimed max, whether a craftable one is worth around 1.33, 1 1.66, 1, 1.66 refined, so you gotta watch that. Non-craft hats, except for a few ones like the Last Breath, the Dr. Woe, and uh, all those new ones, you know, they aren't worth much. You gotta really, really watch those and check the prices on your on your items, so. But, uh, you know, a lot of items like, you know, earbuds, bills, bills, hats, also carry the unique quality here, like the regular quality, so watch that as well. Anyways, moving on. Vintage items here, they are vintage items, uh, vintage items are items that were, you know, in the game before the man, the man, uh, economy, economy update, which was back in, in, uh, 2010. So, you gotta, you gotta watch out for these, because some of them are worth, you know, significantly more than others. Most vintage weapons, most of them are worth, like, two scrap to one reclaim max. Some weapons, though, have are worth more. The Christmas weapons, the Ulipool Caber, the Lock and Load, the Amputator, the Crusader's Crossbow, the... Um, that heavy set as well with the the Brass Beast and the Warrior Spirit and the Buffalo Stake. Those are all worth around 1 ref to 4-5 ref each. The Ulipool Caber being the most rare at 4 refined, so you gotta watch those. Uh, things like, you know, Vintage Hafzatochi, those are worth a couple keys. Uh, vintage Criticola is one to two refined. Vintage Fan of War is two buds, because those have an extremely small craft window. So you gotta watch them. I probably forgot to mention a couple more that are more expensive than that. As far as hats go, they're they mostly vary vintage hats. You know of hats that can be vintage. The shitty ones normally go for two, two refined, two point thirty three refined about, and uh, you know the really expensive ones. You know, they normally range around the four refined range. Some of them, like the vintage Merryweather, goes for five. Tossel Cap, I think, goes for six, seven. Uh, Procedure Mask goes for like eight, nine. I'm pretty sure. W vintage Whiskered Gentleman goes for a lot as well. So some of those are worth a lot more than others. So you gotta watch those when you're trading them. So always check the price on some of your things because they're rare. Anyways, genuines. Genuines are promotional items that you can obtain by buying games and things like that. The prices on Genuine varies a ton, so you gotta watch those and check for sure the spreadsheet on whatever you're trading. For instance, you know, a Genuine Brain Bucket is like, 
1.33 refined, whether a genuine Merc Pride scarf, that's the scarf, is worth like buds plus. So you really, really have to check those. If you want to check all the stuff that's, you know, that, that can be promos, you know, they're all here. Some of them are untradeable, so you got to watch that, such as the metals here. You know, just go on the page, check them all, which which ones can be genuineable, which ones can be not. And remember to check the spreadsheets, which I will talk about later. Strange weapons! These are weapons that level. They are, you know, they just have this orange name instead of instead of a regular name. And I said here, it says the, the kill count, you know, to level the things up. And these are all weapons that, be, that can be... Um, Strange. Some stranges are worth significantly more than others. Stock strange weapons are worth a lot more than other stranges. New stranges that have just come out are worth a ton. Uh, very notable stranges are Strange Kritzkrieg, Strange Gunslinger, and I'm missing one in there. I don't remember which one, but those are worth. Oh, yeah, Strange Machina. Those are worth around. What are they? Eight, nine keys each? That's a ton, a ton of metal. So you gotta watch those. Strange rocket launchers, things like that. Those are worth like, you know, four or five, things like that. Soldier one, soldier strange weapons are normally worth a lot more. Then there are strange festives that were released during the Christmas. Not to be confused with regular festives. Strange festives, they have the festive lighting on them, and they are strange. Those are worth the most out of all the stranges, except for the, those few strangers I mentioned before. A strange, a strange uh, rocket launcher, a strange festive rocket launcher is worth about slightly less than a bills, around like eight, nine keys. You got to really watch those. I have one. I was lucky to get one. You know, strange. There's a lot of strange festive. They start minimum at three keys and they go all the way to five, six, seven, eight. Finally, unusuals, which are the most valuable in hats here, but you have to watch out because there are unusuals like the haunted scrap metal. And the horseless, headless, horseman's head taker axe thingy that uh, are unusual, that have the unusual, you know, characteristic, but they aren't worth a lot. Also, not to be confused with haunted. Haunted also has the same color as unusual, but isn't unusual. Those are all the Halloween updates items that were released in 2011. So watch those. Anyways, all unusuals have effects, and they are normally worth one bud to, you know. 80 buds for burning team captain and all the effects are here if you want to check them out and unusuals can be price checked you know in a couple of ways really really hard to you know to, to check out like that in the general order fetty being confetti here being the worst effect and the best effect is probably you know burning cloudy moon those are really really high tier effects sunbeams as well but i think burning is the effect that is worth the most in all of them. You know, in the middle you got Vivid Plasma, uh, you got Ghosts, you got Orbiting Fire, slightly more up than that, you got, what do you got, uh, Storm, Plasma, Energy, uh, Energy, sorry, and just stuff like that. It's just stuff that you have to learn at, at the end like that, and you'll become a master unusual trader, but that's just probably right out of your, right out of your league right now. So anyways, if you want to, it, there. Something else someone else me asked me is how do you see different quality items in game? The only items that you can see differently in game are unusuals. All the others look exactly the same. Unusuals they'll have effects, the rest they all look exactly the same. It's just their you know, just their pure value by what they are. So, anyways, hope this video helped you guys out in your trading. So please, if you like this video, please give it a like. I really appreciate when you guys do and you know, it's a thing to note that we're almost at a thousand members in the group, only 20 members away. So please come on and join the Please come on and join the group. We're uh, at almost a thousand members. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.